Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Bilal Abdul Karim for OGN's program Justice. Today, we're going to be discussing the case of Saifullah Faransi. Saifullah Faransi came to Syria in 2017. He fought in numerous battles against the regime and has done rebat in numerous different places around the free territories uh, um, against the forces of Bashar al-Assad. Now, the issue concerning Saifullah Faransi is that he is currently in one of Abu Muhammad Jolani or Hayat Tahrir Shams prisons. One of the consistent things that, uh, uh, that we are seeing is a pattern of behavior with the other stories in which we've brought you in recent times, and that is, one, he has no official charge levied against him in spite of the fact that he's been in prison for the past seven months. Two, he has had no access to a lawyer, no representation, no opportunity to defend himself judicially. And three, and which is one of the most important things, is that we have credible information that he too has been tortured in Jolani's prison. Now, one of the uh, things that we are going to continue to bring forward to the uh, Syrian people is that it is time to raise your voices. It is time to ask the questions. Why is this young man in prison and is, has no access to any justice representation? And are we looking for some type of forced confession by way of torture? Finally, I'd like to mention one interesting thing, that there's a rumor that's basically been swirling around both domestically here in Syria and internationally that Abu Muhammad Jolani is colluding with Western security forces to be able to contain the Muhajireen here in Syria. Here is an interesting conversation that U.S. journalist Martin Smith had with uh, uh, James Jeffries, who is the former ambassador to Damascus. It is as follows. Martin Smith, during the Trump years, Jolani reached out to Ambassador Jeffrey through intermediaries. Were you receiving messages from Hayat Tahrir Shan? James Jeffrey, yes. Martin Smith, what were those messages? James Jeffrey, basically, we want to be your friend. We're not terrorists, we're just fighting Assad.